Atlantic Broadband Cable in cooperation with the South Union Township Supervisors presents the South Union Township Sports Network tonight via tape delay once again from the Harold Horse Taylor Memorial Gymnasium. The home of the Laurel Highlands girls basketball team It's the Phillies of Laurel Highlands taking on the Kiski Area Cavaliers. This is Gary Frankhauser, Jerry Dupay alongside on the camera, and we welcome you for tonight's basketball action. The South Union Township Sports Network coverage is brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiff, by Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and CUTV with Gary Smith at the helm. This is Gary Frankhauser. Bringing you the play-by-play, -play. Jerry Dupay on the camera. We'll be right back with the starting lineups right after these messages on the South Union Township Sports Network. Smith, Lewis, and Chess financial services of Uniontown would like to wish the Laurel Highlands girls basketball team and their coaches on having a great basketball season this year. Esophageal reflux affects 20% of Americans and can lead to heartburn, regurgitation, chest pain, and difficulty swallowing. Reflux is caused by stomach contents passing a faulty valve and entering the esophagus. Ulcers and precancerous tissue can then form. Doctors Ruth Hart, Calabrese, Stokes, and Ballou offer the latest testing and treatment for reflux disease. SWGI, Specialists in Digestive Health. Here's your starters for the visiting Kiski area girls basketball Cavaliers. Coming in with a conference record of 0-1-0, overall 3-2-0 in section 4-5A. Starting for Kiski, number five, Harley Holloway, a freshman. She's at guard. Number 11, Mallory Schick, also a guard, a junior. Number 21, Caitlin Brown. A junior forward, number 22, Hannah Potter, another freshman forward, and number 25, Violetta Kensevich, the third starting freshman for the Cavaliers. We'll be right back with the starters for your home standing Phillies right after this on the South Union Township Sports Network. important for people to know that we represent injured people to the best of our ability and we've been successful doing that. And I don't say that to have people come to see us because we have been successful. I say that because it's true and it's important. Another important aspect is the experience that we have is local experience, experience in the court system in Uniontown, in Washington, in Waynesburg. Davis and Davis, Attorneys at Law. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Here 
we go with the Laurel Highlands Phillies coming in to tonight's action. 0-1 in conference play and 0-5 overall. The Phillies trying to get into the win column here tonight with a Section 3 5A matchup against the Kiski Area Cavaliers. Your starters for the Phillies. Number one, Taylor Smith, a 5'5 freshman guard. Number three, Gianna Johns, 5'7 senior forward. Number 12, Brooke Kuznar, a 5'5 senior guard. Number five, Kylie Miller, a 5'6 junior guard. And number 32, Mia Fuller, a 5'9 senior forward. Absent from tonight's lineup and will be sorely missed, Megan McDonald, one of the scoring leaders for the Laurel Highlands Phillies. The, must, the Phillies will have to compensate for her loss and Coach Kenny Riddell will be looking for some support off his bench in the hopes of pulling out their first victory here in the 2016-2017 campaign. And we'll be back with the introductions, the national anthem, and the tip right here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Centers for Rehab Services, CRS, a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine, is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting-edge and cost-effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location, as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans, including all Highmark products, UPMC Health Plan, and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience, patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS worked with physicians and other health care providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500. Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice, so ask for Centers for Rehab Services. It's your health, it's your choice. calling you day and night? Your debt overwhelms you? Although you may feel that you're in a hopeless situation, Zebli Mahalov and White can help. We're a full-service local bankruptcy firm that knows what a difficult time this is and what to do to help you get a fresh start. Call Zebli Mahalov and White today for a free consultation. Your hometown bankruptcy firm. Call us today. Don't borrow more money until you talk to Zebli Mahalov and White. Welcome back once again to the Herald Horse Taylor Memorial Gymnasium. We're just about ready for high school girls basketball. And before we do that, we're going to have the national anthem followed by the team introductions by PA announcer Barry Rosner. Barry Rosner will read the sportsmanship message first to be followed by the National Anthem.
Emily Romp to do the honors for the national anthem. Beautiful job with the national anthem. And now your introductions. Once again, the starting lineups. Schick, the uh, five foot eleven Mallory Schick, Caitlin Brown, also the junior, and the three freshman starters for Kiski Carly Holloway. Very young squad for the Cavaliers. Violetta Kenzovich, also a freshman. Now for the homestanding Phillies. Trying to get on track here against the visiting Kiski area Cavaliers. Kuznar getting a start here this evening. As we said earlier, Megan McDonald will be missing tonight's game. Gianna Johns. Kylie Miller. Taylor Smith, the freshman starter for the Phillies. Here we go, basketball action on the South Union Township Sports Network. <laughs> Officials Bonchowski, Phyllis, and Franks. Uh, discussion on equipment here. The rule is that you cannot have a drawstring showing for safety purposes, so I believe that's what the discussion was. And we're ready to go. Yeah. 
Phillies in all white. The Cavaliers in blue. Tip controlled by the Phillies going left to right on your TV screen. From the corner, just a little bit short. Rebound put up again there by Fuller, but not able to convert. Quickly back come the Cavaliers. Left side jumper for three. Missed there by Holloway, but put back by number 21. And stolen away back to the Cavaliers quickly. Now rebound brought down by the Phillies. Score the bucket there for Caitlin Brown, her first two. And we have an early foul call. Foul call there on number four. Try to pick her up here in our, on our, I'm sorry, there's number five drip down the court. That's Harley Holloway, Holloway, I'm sorry. We have a number four on our uh, roster. I believe that that is number, what I had is 25. That's uh, Violetta Kenzovich. Bucket scored there by Kiske by number five, Holloway, her first hoop. Now we have another foul called across the way. It'll be out of bounds to the Phillies. That's two quick fouls on Kenzovich. Jersey change there. She went from 25 to four. And substitution quickly in as she picks up her Second foul. On top for the Phillies, Taylor Smith, as well as Kylie Miller. This is Smith with the jumper, count it for three. Taylor Smith cuts the lead to four to three. 6.38 to go here in the first. Perimeter offense against the two three zone for the Phillies, pack it in tightly, try to eliminate any action in the lane. There's gonna be another long three on the way off the back of the iron, no good. That was Potter on the shot, rebound, and another opportunity for Kiske, pulled down now by Kylie Miller. Out of the pack she comes, down the right side. Left hand dribble change, back to Smith. She'll drive left handed, swing it all the way around, back on top to Kylie Miller. Reset for the Phillies. Skip pass into the corner. That was Kuznar on the shot, and it will be out of bounds. Rebound foul called against Kiske. That's going to be on Harley Holloway, her first, team third. Corner shot again by Kuznar, can hit long rebound, pulled down by Fuller. Swing it back out to Smith. Smith to Miller, good bounce pass back. back. Bank it in for Taylor Smith. The Phillies on top, 5-4. Taylor with all five of the Phillies' early points. Drive to the hoop and we have a foul called. It's gonna be number three, Gianna Johns. That's gonna be her second, team second. And on the line, shooting two is number 22, Hannah Potter. First one on the way and good. Ties it up at five, 5.32 to go here in the first. Second one, just a little bit short, batted out of bounds and it will be back to the Cavaliers. Phillies unable to gain control of that rebound. Back into the two, three zone. Look for perimeter pass and back to the corner with the screen inside there by Mallory Schick. And that looks like possibly got away with the travel. Schick to the hoop and she will convert. Mallory Schick, 4-2, gives the Cavaliers a two-point advantage. 
Back down come the Cavaliers. Pass inside through the hands of the cutting Brooke, Brooke Kuznar. Had a spot at the opposite block. Would have been a good, clean, open shot, but unable to pull in the pass across court there by Fuller. Now taken away by the Phillies. Back come the Phillies again, and turnover right back to the Cavaliers. Stolen now by Taylor Smith. Three steals in a row. Smith can't convert. Little strong off the backboard. Pass again stolen by Taylor Smith. She's going to stop at the foul line. This time she is fouled. That'll be number five, Harley Holloway, her second foul. Team foul number four. Sending Taylor Smith to the line now. So two Cavaliers in foul trouble, Kenzovich as well as Holloway. Taylor Smith, one for one from the line. Checking out is Kuznar for the Phillies. Checking in number 23, Jenna Wingrove, second one on the way, in and out. Spun it around the iron. And it's now 7-6. Another steal for the Phillies. Try to get it out to Wingrove. She has three Cavaliers to beat, and it's going to be dribbled out of bounds back to the Cavaliers. Checking in for Kiske was number 10, Emily Sislinski, the senior. That's Sislinski on the right wing now. Try to post up inside to Schick. Swinging around the perimeter. On top there is Brown. Dribble drive to the right. Inside, Caitlin Brown trying to get it inside to Schick. Clearly the motivation for Kiske. Settle for the three-pointer by Brown, and Caitlin will make it a 10-6 lead now for Kiske. Kylie Miller looking, looking, trying to decipher this zone defense by Kiske. Smith on top, over to Miller. Thought about the three-pointer. She'll drive baseline, look to the, try to skip it across, but stolen away nicely. Slinsky on the break, has it knocked away, but saved back in bounds, but no, it's called out of bounds on the baseline. Kiske will retain possession. And Elise Cook also in for Kiske. Three on the way that time by Potter. Couldn't hit it. This is Cook in the corner. Zizlinski, one dribble. Back to Cook. Inside now, Schick kicks it back around. Dribble drive down the lane, hook shot. Will no, not won't go in and pulled away now by a hustling Philly. Number three, Gianna Johns. Just pried it away from the hands of Caitlin Brown on the defensive rebound. Substitution now, Iana Harris will get some minutes for the Phillies. 1-3-1 one, one zone deployed by Kiski need to attack at the elbows and that's exactly what happened there with Kylie Miller but Little Strong tracks down her own rebound in the corner to Taylor Kylie handling the point over to Taylor nowhere to go with that skip it across to Wingrove one bounce inside a lot of contact no foul called and we're going to have a held ball as Harris and Brown for Kiske tie it up. 10-6 remains the score, 219 now. Cook gets it inside to Schick, and we're going to have a foul called, I believe, on the Phillies. Going to be out of bounds underneath. Number four, Ayana Harris picks up her first. Team foul number four. Sorry, three. Three team fouls. All the way across now, Szynski in the corner to Brown. On top to Cook. Brown runs the baseline all the way across. 
Now Schick tries to spin move, blocked off there. Schick playing almost exclusively in the post position. So he'll kick it back out on top now to Brown. Over to Sislinski. 22 is Potter. She'll try to go baseline. Blocked off there nicely by Johns. To the hoop again, and we're gonna have another foul called. Two quick fouls on Ayana Harris. This time the shooting variety will give Hannah Potter an opportunity at the line with a 10-6 lead for Kiske. One minute and 30 seconds to go here in the first. Hannah hits the first, but makes her two for three from the line. Substitution in Amanda Glusica. We'll give Harris a break. Second one up and trickles in for Hannah Potter. Her three points all from the line. Miller, Wingro, 4-3, can't hit it. Rebound, pulled down by Brown. Kiske looking to run. Just a little out in front of Sislinski, unable to control, back to the Phillies. Kylie Miller, Taylor Smith, Gianna Johns, Amanda Glusica, and Jenna Wingrove. And this is Johns trying to go baseline, and she'll pick up the foul. Kaitlin Brown with the foul. And that'll be her first, team sixth. Tara Zelonka will come in, sophomore. Forward for Kiske. Taylor Smith now. We're going to have a travel call there by referee Bonchowski. Cook and Potter in the backcourt for the Cavaliers. This is Cook. Back on top to Potter. Over to Sislinski. Get it inside to Schick. She loses control. Back comes Kylie Miller, and no shot is the call. Foul's going to be called out front on the drive. That's Mallory Schick with her first. That's going to be a one-and-one -one situation and send Kylie Miller to the line. Trailing by six, 12 to six, 50 seconds to go here in the first. Kylie Miller converts. Second one off the iron, no good. Back comes Kiske, now leading by five with 41 seconds to go. Inside pass, picked off there nicely by number 44, Taylor Eagle. To Glusica, thought about the shot. Good defense there by Kiske. Kick it back outside to Miller. Miller has it knocked away and retained by Kiske. Back comes Sislinski. She'll assist to the right side. Short jumper under the iron. And we're going to have a ball out of bounds back to the Phillies. Knocked out there by number 24, Dara Zalonka. Thirteen seconds. Phillies may hold for one here. Corner is equal. Just a little bit strong on the 15-foot jumper. And that's going to do it, I believe, for the first quarter. Cavaliers with the first quarter lead, 12-7 over the Phillies. We'll be right back after these messages on the South Union Township Sports Network.
Anemia occurs when one has a low number of blood cells and becomes weak, tired, and pale. Blood loss anemia warrants a careful exam of the digestive tract with traditional GI scopes and sometimes with pill scope technology. Doctors Ruth Hart, Calabrese, Stokes, and Ballou offer the latest diagnostic testing for blood loss anemia. SWGI, specialists in digestive health. Smith, Lewis, and Chess, Financial Services of Uniontown, would like to wish the Laurel Hines girls basketball team and their coaches on having a great basketball season this year. Welcome back. Ready for second quarter action here at the Horse Taylor Memorial Gymnasium. The Phillies trailing by five with the possession. Kylie Miller across to Taylor Smith. Playing catch out top. Facing that 1-2-2 two, two zone now. And inside, trying to get it up to the hoop there was Eagle. Could not. Quickly back comes Kiske. Corner jumper on the way, got it. Beautiful jumper there by Harley Holloway. A three-point shot. Makes it 15 to seven, Kiske on top. Philly's trying to split this zone defense to obtain some quality looks. Just 32 now, call for three seconds in the lane. That's Mia Fuller just Lost track of her position on the court. Three seconds is the call. Cook out top, and this will be back court. Just a little too strong on the pass. Turnover to the Phillies. Kylie Miller, good pass to Taylor Eagle, and she's going to be fouled. So Eagle, who came in late in the first quarter, will have an opportunity at the line. Five foot ten, sophomore forward. Saw a lot of action in the JV game and posted up nicely in that victory for the Phillies. Converts on her first opportunity at the line. Foul was called on Hannah Potter, her first. Second foul shot off the iron for Taylor. Quickly back. 15 foot set shot by Potter won't go. On the run now comes Miller and she will lose it out of bounds but it's gonna go back to Kiske.
Kuznar back in for the Phillies, replacing Taylor Eagle. He had a step call here. Just too much foot action right in front of the official. 15-8 is our score, 640 to go here in the second. Corner now, Taylor Smith, Miller on the right wing. Skip pass on top to Taylor. Cross to Fuller. Fuller. Now Miller. He had a travel there. Good ball fake, but Gianna Johns moved her feet before she put the ball on the court. We're going to have a timeout called by the Laurel Highlands Phillies. Our score, 15 to eight, Cavaliers on top. 6.19 to go here in the second full timeout. Back in 60 seconds here on the South Union Township Sports Network. You don't have to travel to Pittsburgh to get good representation. We've been doing it since 1976. We've been successful. We can help you right here at home. We know the nuances of the, of the legal system in Uniontown in Fayette County. We know the nuances of the legal system in Waynesburg and in, 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 in Washington. We know the system. We know where the courthouse is and we know where to park. And at our office, you can park for free. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Welcome back as we will be inbounding it in the backcourt Kiski area, the beneficiary of the turnover via the walk call. 15-8, Kiski on top. We got a whistle here late. What do we have? Clock had not run down after the timeout. We're set now, 6.19 to go here in the second. Phillies will... Use some pressure now, trying to pick up some pace and opportunities at the hoop. There's a knockaway, almost a turnover that they tried to get. Here's Schick underneath. She'll score. Mallory Schick, patient with the shot after retreat, receiving it at the low post. Stretches the lead out to nine, 17-8. Phillies almost coming up with that turnover. Taylor from the corner will hit her second three. Taylor Smith with seven of the 10 for the Phillies. Quickly back and another opportunity and score for Kiske. This time Hannah Potter, her first hoop to go with three free throws gives her five. Four shot up there by Kylie Miller, but on the floor now, we're gonna have a tied up tie, timeout call. Before the tie-up, we're going to have a 30-second timeout called by Kiske with the lead 19 to 10. 5.26 to go here in the second. Quick timeout also here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Centers for Rehab Services, CRS, a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. 
Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting edge and cost effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location, as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans, including all Highmark products, UPMC Health Plan and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience. Patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access, which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS work with physicians and other health care providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500. Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice, so ask for Centers for Rehab Services. It's your health, it's your choice. Kiski will have the possession, smartly calling timeout before the tie-up of the ball, and the Phillies will come out and once again try to apply some full court pressure. On the ball defense there by Mia Fuller, tries to jump to the trap. Quickly up the court, Kiske breaks the press, gets it inside to Schick, and she maneuvers her way to be able to get the ball up to the hoop. Once again, got it, and Two opportunities for Mallory Schick results in the hoop. 21-10 now, Kiske on top. Try to pass inside there to Fuller, just a little too strong from Gianna. Rydell will bring in some new troops. Number 50, Amanda Glusica, and number 23, Jenna Wingrove. Try for the trap again, and once again, broken easily. That looked like a double dribble, and it was called late. Caught on the opposite side there. We'll turn it over to the Phillies. In need of some offensive punch here, just three points in the quarter. The corner three-pointer by Taylor Smith. Knocked away again, here comes Kiske. Pulling it out smartly there is Potter. Regroup, she'll dribble through the zone. Swinging around quickly, baseline and Schick from the elbow. Little strong, but the rebound put back by Violetta Kenzovic, her first two. 13 point lead now for the Cavaliers. On the shot again, Taylor Smith providing some offense. Three three-pointers for her. Stop and shoot for Kiske. Taylor will run it down. Miller, corner to Wingrove. Shot on the way off the side of the banking board, no good. Back comes Kiske. Good ball handling by Hannah Potter, and she'll be fouled there on the side by Taylor Smith. and it'll be just her first team foul number five. <laughs> Substitution into the game now will be Ivy Marva, number two, replacing Jenna Wingrove. <laughs> Ivy Marva, the five foot seven senior guard. Three on the way that time by Potter. Coming out of there was Fuller. Got a backcourt call here. 
determination that the ball had come through and made it across at the half court and went into the back court again. So back court was a call. Now we have a deflection out of bounds underneath. Kiski will retain. Inbounds play now. Try to swing it around the top. Phillies drop into the 2 3 zone. Schick, spin move to her left. Can't get it to go. Some contact, no foul called. Mia Fuller to Kylie Miller. Corner now. Ivy will take the three. That's blocked. Picked up inside. In the right place at the right time. Mia Fuller 4 2. Lead back now down to 23. 15. Long three-pointer on the way. Knocked out of bounds and it will be retained by Kiske. Trying to pull that in, Mia Fuller after the three-point attempt there by Holloway. And we're going to have another timeout call. 30-second timeout call by the coach for Kiske. He wants to talk about it quickly. We'll step aside for 30 seconds here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Smith, Lewis, and Chess, financial services of Uniontown, would like to wish the Laurel Hines girls basketball team and their coaches on having a great basketball season this year. Back quickly. Baseline out of bounds for Kiske. 23-15, 2.49 to go here in the second quarter. Schick in the corner. And we have another step call. This time Harley Holloway, a little too anxious. Phillies trying to take advantage of some miscues on the Kiske side. Staying in that 1-3-1 one, one zone, and there's a travel call by Bonchowski across the way on Taylor Smith this time. Ball fake the right idea, just need to keep those feet planted. Swinging around for Kiske, facing the 2-3 zone of the Phillies. Now battling for it is Fuller, and she will pull it away on the takeaway. Ahead to Smith. She'll stop and shoot the three in and out in the hard luck. And there's a foul now called by the official. That will be on Ivy Marva, her first. Right there at half court, just too much contact. That will be the sixth team foul. 2.12 to go in the second. Kiski still not in the bonus. Another timeout is asked for by Kiske, and I believe that is the third timeout called by them. And they will have only two remaining, so it's going to be a full timeout. Give us another chance to hear from our fine sponsors here on the South Union Township Sports Network. It's 23-15, Kiske on top. Colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths. Signs include abdominal pain and rectal bleeding. Colon cancer develops from a degenerating benign growth or polyp. Doctors performing colonoscopy are able to remove precancerous polyps, thus preventing colon cancer. This saves lives, and the American Cancer Society now recommends that everyone have a colonoscopy every 10 years, beginning at age 50. Doctors Ruth Hart, Calabrese, Stokes, and Ballou offer the latest diagnostic testing, SWGI, Specialists in Digestive Health. Sit right down and you hear a tale, a tale of a fateful call. You better pay those bills right now or you take a mighty fall. He really didn't know what to do, so we turned to those who did. 
Zeppli, Mahalo, Van White, your bankruptcy crew, your bankruptcy crew. So no matter how deep in debt you are, if your back's against the wall, Zeppli, Mahalo, Van White, just give them a call. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. once again across the way inbound to be handled by Caitlin Brown that Caitlin Brown Hannah Potter Harley Holloway Violetta Kenzovich and Mallory Schick for Kiski Potter now we're gonna have another a travel call before the foul would have been a foul but a travel first on Harley Holloway for the Phillies, number five, Kylie Miller. Number one, Taylor Smith. Number 50 is Amanda Glusica. Corner shot now for Mia Fuller. Number 32, just short. Quickly back. Running for the Cavaliers is Potter. Tries to go baseline now. Gets it to Schick. And no good, but offensive rebound. Pulled down again. And she got a travel call now as she... Couldn't get the ball up to the hoop on the second attempt. Minute 28 to go, 23-15 remains our score. Miller trying to split that 1-3-1 one, one zone. Looking into the corner. Now Glusica tried to get it back out to Taylor Smith, but knocked away. Straight down the middle. Comes the Cavaliers, that was number 21, Brown. Mia Fuller now controlling, cross to Taylor. Taylor, corner to Miller, she'll try with her left up to the hoop and they're gonna have a foul called. Number 21, Caitlin Brown with the contact and the foul. It's her second team foul, number nine. I'm sorry, that's her third foul. So she'll need to take a break as Kylie Miller hits the first. Fifty-five seconds to go here in the second. Kylie two for two that time. Makes it a six point difference, 23-17 with 50 seconds to go. Kenzovich, skip pass across, three on the way, too strong for Holloway. Miller back on the run for the Phillies. In the corner to Taylor, hits again, her fourth three-pointer of the half. It's now a four-point advantage. 22 seconds. Looking for that inside pass. Knocked away that time by the inside defense of Mia Fuller. Out of bounds. Annalise Cook will trigger it in. Try to get it inside all the way out top to Potter. Left-hand dribble by Holloway. Swinging around, Kenzovich. Potter dribbling in and she's gonna travel. Six seconds to go now, 23-19. Corner to Fuller. This is Taylor, long three-pointer on the way, just short as the buzzer sounds to end the first half. A Little bit of a run there late by the Phillies. Cuts the lead to 23-19 as we go to halftime. We'll be back with the halftime statistics here on the South Union Township Sports Network.
Centers for Rehab Services, CRS, a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine, is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting edge and cost effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans including all Highmark products, UPMC Health Plan and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience, patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS worked with physicians and other health care providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500. Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice, so ask for Centers for Rehab Services. It's your health, it's your choice. Welcome back to the Harold Horse Taylor Memorial Gymnasium. Laurel Highlands Phillies basketball, it's halftime with the Kiski Area Cavaliers leading 23 to 19 over the Phillies. Score by quarter, 12 to seven, Kiski on top in the first. Kiski with 11 in the second and the Phillies with 12s. That gives us our halftime score of 23 to 19. Scoring for Kiski, number five, Harley Holloway, a Two-point bucket and a three-point bucket for her five. Mallory Schick all inside, six points. Caitlin Brown, a deuce and a triple for her five. Hannah Porter all from the foul line. I'm sorry, she does have a two-pointer and three for four from the foul line for her total of five. And Violetta Kenzovich, one hoop for her two, and that's a total of 23 points for Kiske. For the Phillies, Taylor Eagle came off the bench and was one for two at the line for her one point. Mia Fuller with a bucket for two. Kylie Miller, three for four, all from the line for her three points. And Taylor Smith leading the way. Two triples, three two-pointers, and one for two from the line, leading the Phillies with 13 points and their total of 19. That's our halftime score. Kiske, 23 Laurel Highlands 19, back with third quarter action. You're watching the South Union Township Sports Network with Gary Frankhauser and Jerry Dupay on the camera. Davis and Davis, helping the injured. If you're injured in an accident, after you address the medical problems, you're gonna be faced with numerous questions concerning who's gonna pay your medical bills, your property damage, wages that you might be losing if you can't go to work. These are things that you need counsel for. That your income is protected, that your bills are paid, that your family's taken care of. We've been doing this since 1976. We've helped injured people. We can help you. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. Many people unknowingly have chronic liver disease and discover it during routine blood testing. Possible causes include alcohol, hepatitis C, fatty liver, and iron overload. 
If left unchecked, this can lead to cirrhosis or severe liver scar. Doctors Ruth Hart, Calabri, Stokes, and Ballou offer the latest testing and treatment for chronic liver disease. SWGI, Specialists in Digestive Health. and ready for second half action. Kiski will have the possession now going left to right on your TV screen. And the Phillies will come out on defense, defending the hoop to our right. Looks like the same starters. Smith, Miller, Kuznar, and Fuller. And Taylor Smith, and Gianna Johns, I'm sorry. There's going to be a hold quickly there on Gianna. That's going to be quickly her third foul. That's going to be out of bounds to Kiski. Gianna will come out quickly, picking up a third foul, first team foul for the Phillies. Out of bounds underneath. Kenzovich gets it inside to Schick. One-hander can't get it up, but fighting for the rebound and obtaining the offensive rebound there was number 21, Caitlin Brown. That's on Ayana Harris, her third foul. Team foul number two quickly, just 13 seconds into the second half. Caitlin Brown rattles that first one in. Second one, good also. Height advantage for Kiske. The Phillies need to check out on that defensive board. Back into that 1-3-1 one, one zone. They've been in it all night. The Kiske Cavaliers, three-pointer on the way for Kuznar. No good, rebound up. No, can't get it. Harris fighting for it. And we have a travel call. It'll be over to... Kiski, so two opportunities. First on the three in the corner by Kuznar, and then Harris on the putback to no avail for the Phillies. Perimeter offense inside to Schicks. Good spin move to the hoop, and she is fouled. Mallory Schick showing her athleticism on the shift, and that's a foul called on Ayana Harris, her fourth. That'll bring Amanda Glusica to the scoring table, no doubt, to check in for Harris. As Schick unable to hit on the first foul shot attempt. Next opportunity. Strong again, but another offensive rebound pulled down by... Kiski save inside now, quickly out to Taylor. She can't get it to go, but Glusik on the rebound. Right-handed hook, bank, count it for Amanda Glusika. Her first two of the game. 
back to a four point advantage. Possible carry, but to the hoop. Offensive rebound again pulled down as Holloway made the drive to the hoop. Schick on the offensive rebound. Schick spin move again inside. Back for the three pointer. And that time, good box out by Kuznar. She'll get the over the back call there on number 21, Caitlin Brown. And I believe that's four on her. Number 21, Caitlin Brown picks up her fourth team foul, number one. Substitution quickly for her will be Annalise Cook. So just as we were coaching from the press box, good box out there that time by Brooke Kuznar. Trying to split that 1-3-1. One, one. Glusika in the lane could have... Had a drive, this will be Kuznar now, no good. Rebound pulled down by Schick. Gets it out to the left, this is Holloway. And loses control, but regains after the fumble. In the corner now, and that's gonna be a block call on Taylor Smith, her second, team foul number three. Out of bounds, underneath will be the call. Make it on the sideline. Cook now will get it in to Potter. Inside to Schick, and she's going to travel with it in the lane. <laughs> Phillies with an opportunity to cut into this four-point advantage. Glusica has it stolen away. Holloway with the good hands. Brings it back the other side. Cook across to Kenzovich. This is Holloway, no good rebound pulled down there by Kylie Miller. Has Mia Fuller, good cross court pass to Kuznar, she'll score. One, two, three passes for the Phillies. Kuznar finishes for her first two, makes it a two point game with 5.20 to go here in the third. Kenzovich. Across to Cook, that won't go. Try to save it in and knock it off the Cavaliers. Successfully done by Kylie Miller. And the Phillies with an opportunity to tie or take the lead with a three. Smith and Miller. This is Taylor, e Eddie, she can't get it. I'm sorry, Taylor Eagle. From the foul line, just missed, fired slightly back to the Kiski Cavaliers. Continuously trying to get it inside, and they do to Schick, tried to go to her left, gets her own rebound, now off the glass and good for Kenzovich. Her first of the two, two points of the second half, six points for the game. Back to a four point 27 23 lead. Kuznar drives the lane, tries to get it to Eagle. Back to Miller for three. No good. Kuznar with the rebound. Back to the corner now to Miller. Smith to the lane. Running one hander. Can't get it. Gets her own rebound. Miller with another opportunity and cans it. Kylie Miller for three. Makes it a one point game. Momentum swing for the Phillies. Cuts the lead to one. Kenzovich trying to get it in the middle to Schick. Back to Kenzovich, baseline drive. Kick it outside to Cook. And now we have another travel call, this time on Potter. Turnover back to the Phillies. One, two, two zone now as Eagle will try from the foul line. Gets her own rebound up, spins it in. Taylor Eagle, 4-2, puts the Phillies on top, 28-27. Now, Kiske trying to answer. Little anxious, but the running one-hander won't go. Good box out again that time by Kylie Miller. Ahead to Fuller. 
Back to Miller, and she is fouled. <laughs> Phillies showing some emotion here with three minutes to go in the third. Foul called that time. Second team foul. I believe that was on number 25, Kenzovich, but let's wait and see. Didn't pick up who the foul was on. Number 25, Kenzovich it is, that's her third. And Kylie Miller puts him through. Long shot there by Kiske, no good. Quickly come the Phillies inside the three-point line. Taylor just rims it out. Good form and square up there, just could not get it to fall. Trying for the steal again, Taylor. Dealing with Potter. A lot of the ball handling for Kiske. By number 22, Hannah Potter. Phillies, aggressive defense. Inside, left hand conversion there for Caitlin Brown. Playing with four fouls, able to convert. Taylor, corner to Kuznar. Off the rim, no good. Taylor can't get the rebound though. And here comes Kiski again to the hoop, and we're going to have a block foul and a good hoop. Twelve. Not sure who the foul was on. Let's see. Good hoop, though, were for Harley Holloway. Foul was called. Let's see who we got it on. No signal from the scorer's table. Foul shot good. Gives the Cavaliers the two-point advantage, 32 to 30. Good pass inside. We got a push and a good hoop. Mia Fuller with the hoop. Foul called on number 11, Mallory Schick. Her second. Team foul number four. That will send Mia to the line. Converts the three-point play. Phillies back on top, 33-32. Seesaw battle inside to Schick. She'll go left and be fouled now. And that's going to be on Gianna Johns. That's going to be, I believe, her fifth foul. Let's see. Foul's on number three, I believe. That's her fourth. Schick, strong on the first. And Gianna will take a quick break as... Amanda Glusica checks in. Mallory Schick ties things up at 33. Taylor looking for someone open as the Phillies try to maneuver against this zone. Skip pass to Glusica. She traveled. Got up in the air, nowhere to go. Turnover back to the Cavaliers. Man-to-man -man defense now by the Phillies. This is Schick, she'll try to dribble to the lane. Off glass, no good, rebound, pulled down now and out by the Phillies. This is Kuznar, head to Fuller. Cross to Miller, left-hand drive in the corner. Kuznar just a little bit short, pulling out the offensive rebound. Taylor Smith knocked away now by Kiske. Given right back, Mia Fuller to Kuznar, and she is fouled. That's going to be on number five, Harley Holloway. 
That's going to be her third team foul number five. We'll send Brooke Kuznar to the line. She'll hit. First opportunity at the line puts the Phillies up 34-33. Second one to come. Two for two for Brooke. Quickly checking in, number 23, Jenna Wingrove will give Brooke a short break, I'm sure. The Phillies will pick up full court. In bounce pass to Brown. She will try to bring it ahead. Got away with a double dribble there. And now we got to travel. Missed the first one, got the second one. Turnover anyway. So the Phillies will have it back with a two point lead 35 33, 57 seconds to go here in the third. Phillies have the opportunity to extend this lead. Miller will try for three and can it. <laughs> Kylie Miller, her third, second three-pointer, and it's out of bounds. We're going to have a foul on the inbounds play against Kiske. 22, Hannah Potter, her first team foul number six. We'll have it out of bounds now to the Phillies on their own baseline. Glusica cannot get that up. Nice play there by Caitlin Brown. She'll come back quickly. Kenzovich can't get it to go. Rebound, fought four, and it's a tie up. Back to Laurel Highlands. <laughs> Phillies with a 5.38-33 lead. 31 seconds to go. Big momentum shift for the Phillies here in the period. Wingrove for three. That would have been huge, and now we have a push foul called on Glusica, and that's going to put Kiske at the line one and one. Glusica picks up her first, but that is the team foul number seven, and we're still in the third quarter. That could be huge here in the fourth with all of the fouls being shooting fouls now for Kiske. Headed to the line, Harley Holloway, one for one so far. She looks smooth at the line. Makes it 38-34. Second one rattles out, and Kylie Miller ends up with it. Left-hand dribble down the sideline, and she's going to be fouled. Foul called that time on Hannah Potter. Just too much body contact on the way down the court. That's the sixth team foul. So Kiske will also push the Phillies into the bonus with their next foul. Foul shooting is going to be at a premium here in the fourth quarter as Kylie tries to dribble her way in. Taylor from the corner, just a little bit strong, and another foul. Got to avoid these fouls, and that's going to be on number 23, Jenna Wingrove. Just her first, but that's the team foul number eight. And send Holloway to the line again. She is two for three. Four-point Philly lead, 38-34. Just five seconds to go here in the period. First one's good. The all-important front end of the one-and-one. Second one up, and count it also. Back to a two-point lead as Taylor waits for the ball to come to her. Close to a backcourt. Wingrove for three. Close to putting that in, but just off the iron as the third quarter expires. The Phillies jump back and go on top, 38-36. to We'll be back with fourth quarter action. You're watching the South Union Township Sports Network.
Centers for Rehab Services, CRS, a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine, is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting edge and cost effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location, as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans, including all Highmark products, UPMC Health Plan, and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience, patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access, which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS worked with physicians and other health care providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500. Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice, so ask for Centers for Rehab Services. It's your health, it's your choice. Smith, Lewis, and Chess, financial services of Uniontown, would like to wish the Laurel Hines girls basketball team and their coaches on having a great basketball season this year. Here we go, we got a good one, 38-36, the Phillies on top. Starting the fourth quarter, it will be Kiske's possession. Harley Holloway looking for some help to get it inbound. She will across the way here to Hannah Potter. Potter in the corner to Kenzovich. Back out on top to Cook. Back to Kenzovich, thought about going baseline, cut off there nicely by Taylor Eagle. Now inside to Schick with that left-hand dribble, kicks it back in the corner, stolen away by Taylor Smith, but could not retrieve it as it trickled out of bounds. Back to Kiske. Inbound pass controlled by Potter. Clearly trying to look inside for Schick, but a good baseline drive and hoop by Violetta Kenzovich. She has eight. Four in the second half. Kuznar inside to Eddie. Good pass to Mia. Fuller completes the bucket for the Phillies. 40-38 back on top by two. Kenzovich inside to Schick. And that will be lost momentarily, but retrieved there by Kenzovich. Weave out top, good pass inside on back door. Schick thought about it, couldn't get it up to the hoop, kind of fumbled it away. Now inside, Kenzovich working the ball outside. Skip pass across to Potter. She goes to the hoop, gets hit hard, no foul called. Eagle with the rebound. Drop it back to Miller who will take control. Mia Fuller goes baseline, stops and shoots. Little bit short, retrieves her own rebound. 
Taylor Smith now gets it inside to Fuller again. Can't get it to go. And great offensive rebound that time by Taylor Eagle. She is fouled on the play. And that foul is going to be called. Let's see who that's on. Number 23, Annalise Cook, just her first. As Taylor will go to the line with a two-shot opportunity. One for two so far from the line here this evening. First one just a bit strong. As Caitlin Brown will check back in. Replacing Annalise Cook. Caitlin playing with four fouls. Second one strong also for Taylor. Remains a two-point game. Quickly to the hoop and scoring is Harley Holloway. Carrying the load for the Cavaliers in the second half. Ties it up. Tried to force one in there was Taylor Smith, but luckily the Philly's able to retrieve. Back to Miller. Bounce into Kuznar. Tried to come across to Mia Fuller. Picked off there by Potter. Bringing it back quickly herself. Pulls it back out now to Holloway. Holloway, runner, short. Pulled down now by the Kiske. Cavaliers left hand drive and score for Caitlin Brown. Cavaliers back on top, 42-40. Brooke Kuznar back to Kylie Miller. Inside to Eagle. Now Fuller to Eagle. In and out, hard luck. Rebound pulled down by Brown. Now quickly ahead and a floater just short by Potter, just kind of lost her balance. Now Miller sets things back up. Reorganize. Taylor Smith surveying the circumstances. Now loses it. Anticipation there by Hannah Potter. Just watching the eyes of Taylor Smith and we're gonna have a timeout called by Kiske with 4.51 to go here in the fourth period. It's 42-40, Cavaliers on top of the Phillies, right back on the South Union Township Sports Network. Many people suffer with chronic loose stool that drastically affects their lifestyle. Possible causes include irritable bowel syndrome, colitis, Crohn's disease, lactose intolerance, celiac sprue, and chronic infections. Using simple tests, doctors Ruth Hart, Calabrese, Stokes, and Ballou can find diarrhea's culprit and start helpful treatment. SWGI, specialists in digestive health. Southwestern Endoscopy Center is a state licensed and Medicare certified facility and emphasizes privacy, comfort, caring, and safety. For colonoscopies and upper GI endoscopies, painless procedures are done with twilight sedation given by a board certified anesthesiologist. The center accepts most insurance plans and is staffed by doctors Ruth Hart, Calabrese, Stokes, and Ballou. SWGI, specialists in digestive health. Gary Frank Kauser along with Jerry Toupe here on the South Union Township Sports Network bringing you high school basketball 
The Laurel Highlands Phillies and the Kiski Area Cavaliers in a tight one, 42-40 with 4.50 to go. Kiski on top. Swing pass all the way across and lost it out of bounds. Back to the Phillies. Just a fumble out of bounds across the way. Pressure provided by the Phillies as they come back trying to either tie it or regain the lead. Taylor dribbles out of trouble. On top now to Miller. Inside to Mia. She gets it to Kuznar. Kick it back out to Taylor. Goes baseline. Got it. Taylor Smith on the board in the second half with her two. Gives her 15 for the game. Ties it up at 42. It's Caitlin Brown playing with four fouls. Number 21 now stolen away on the court. Retained by Kiske. Lost opportunity there for the Phillies. Baseline drive and knocked away. Out of bounds. Back to Kiske. Gianna Johns will check back in. Good minutes by Taylor Eagle. Possession now with Kiske. On top to Potter. Corner Brown into Schick. Powers her way up. Mallory Schick, her first bucket in the second half. She has seven. Make it nine for her. Kuznar, one bounce to the hoop. Ooh, trickles in and out. Schick with the rebound. Cavaliers, two-point advantage, 3.32 to go. Pick on top by Schick. Corner, three-pointer on the way, and a big hoop that time by Hannah Potter. Makes it a five-point game. Three-pointer good by Hannah. Phillies will try to answer. Kuznar, that was blocked partially, and Kiske will come back again with numbers. Stop and shoot. Good rebound there by Mia. And what do we got, a travel call. Caitlin Brown came out of there with it, but took one extra step as she was trying to get it off to one of her teammates in the corner. And for the Phillies, that's a fortuitous opportunity because that would have been another chance for Kiske to add on to an already five-point lead, and it's stolen away now. Hannah Potter, she'll go to the hoop, and that's going to be a blocking foul. Established her position, that was Kylie Miller, but good body control by Hannah Potter drew the foul. That'll be Kylie's first foul, team foul number nine, but it is a two-point, two-shot shooting foul. Three for four from the line, make it four for five for Hannah Potter. Under three minutes, 2.43 to go. Hannah Potter now five for six from the line. Give her 10. Juggling for the defense, and now we got a timeout call by Laurel Highlands. Once Gianna Johns was able to obtain possession, the Phillies were able to call a timeout. It's just a 30-second timeout with 2.31 to go. Coach Rydell wants to try to come up with an offensive opportunity here for the Phillies, now trailing 49-42. Phillies seeing things kind of slip away here after a two-point advantage, 38-36 at the end of the third. Scoring just six points here so far in the quarter. And the Cavaliers, I'm sorry, scoring just four points in the quarter. And the Cavaliers now with 13 in the quarter. Brooke Kuznar back in will get it to Taylor Smith. Trying to find an answer here offensively. Taylor splits it. Now Mia, too strong. 
Another rebound for Kiski. That's Holloway. Quickly head to Kenzovic inside to Schick, and she's going to score again. Mallory Schick now makes it a nine point game, and that's going to be a block foul called on Kiski, and that's going to send Kylie Miller to the line. Fouls on Violetta Kenzovic. That'll be her fourth foul. Wingrove comes in for Kuznar. It's one and one for Kylie Miller. Misses the front end, but rebound by Mia Fuller. Up and no good. Rebound put back by Jones. Can't get it to go. Now controlled out of bounds. What do we got? Official says that Mallory Schick stepped on the out-of-bounds line back to the Phillies with a minute 57 to go. Down by nine. Needs some quick hoops. Taylor can't get it to go. Rebound now is a held ball. That's going to be back to the Phillies also. Three opportunities here from the foul line also. Phillies just cannot Make it go, and there's a bounce pass inside. Taken away, breakout now. All the way to the hoop, and scoring will be Violetta Kenzovich. Minute 40 to go now, 11 point advantage. Phillies giving it away again, another turnover. Breakout again for Kiski. Scoring this time is Hannah Potter. Minute 18 to go. Looks like the Phillies kind of running out of gas here in the fourth quarter. And Laurel Highlands is going to take a timeout with a minute 14 to go. Trailing now 55 to 42. And Kiske just kind of pulled away here in the fourth quarter when it looked like the Phillies had gained substantial momentum in the third. Just unable to find the answer here in the fourth. Coach Rydell will bring in some new forces here for the final minute and change. Now trailing by 13, 55 to 42 on the court now will be Taylor Smith, number one, number 12, Brooke Kuznar, number 50, Amanda Glusica, number two, Ivy Marva, and number 23, Jenna Wingrove. <laughs> Phillies are going to have to try to use the three-point play to get back into this ball game, but with just a minute 14 to go, it's going to be very difficult. Caitlin Brown playing most of the fourth quarter with Four fouls, and that one goes right through the hands of Mallory Schick. Out of bounds, back to the Phillies. Kiske will extend this zone, knowing that the Phillies must shoot threes at this point. Cross court now, this is Kuznar. She has it knocked away. Kenzovic now, and she's going to be fouled by Ivy Marva. That's going to be 10 team fouls and Ivy's second personal foul. So it'll be double bonus, two shots for Violetta Kenzovic. Coming in with eight points so far. First one on the way and good. Second one trickles in also. 57-42. Taylor will take the three off to the right. Pulled down now again by Kiske, this time Holloway. To the hoop, off glass, no good. When Kiske really doesn't need to shoot, Hannah Potter decided to take it all the way. Ivy can't. Control, and it's going to be a hell ball, and 
back to Kiske with just 26 seconds to go. And a 15 point advantage. Kiske now will merely need to run the clock out. Kenzovich gets it to Potter. Still trying to drive to the hoop and we got a travel call. Yes. 15 seconds to go. Last opportunity here for the Phillies. Taylor to Kuznar, long three on the way. No good, pulled down there by Harley Holloway. And she'll let it run out with just two seconds, one second. That'll do it. Kiski area Cavaliers pulling away in the fourth quarter. Coming up with a victory, 57 to 42 over the Laurel Highlands Phillies. We'll be right back to tell you all about it here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Davis and Davis, helping the injured. If you're injured in an accident, after you address the medical problems, you're going to be faced with numerous questions concerning who's going to pay your medical bills, your property damage, the wages that you might be losing if you can't go to work. These are things that you need counsel for. That your income is protected, that your bills are paid, that your family's taken care of. We've been doing this since 1976. We've helped injured people. We can help you. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. Welcome back to the Harold Horse Taylor Memorial Gymnasium. The Laurel Highlands Phillies falling to the Kiski area Cavaliers, just kind of running out of gas in the fourth quarter, going into the fourth with a 38 to 36 lead, but just scoring four points in the fourth quarter, up against 21 for Kiski to fall 57 to 42. Score by quarters. Kiske, 12 in the first, 11 in the second, 13 in the third, and 21 big points in the fourth quarter. For Laurel Highland, 7 in the first, 12 in the second, 19 in the third, and just four points in the fourth quarter for their total of 42. Looking at the player statistics for Kiske, number five, Harley Holloway, the freshman, coming in with 13 points, four for five from the line, including one three-pointer. Mallory Schick, all two pointers for her 11, one for three from the line. Kaitlin Brown with 11, a three pointer, three two pointers, and two for two from the line. Hannah Potter with 12, a three pointer, two two pointers, and five for six from the line for Hannah. Rounding out the scoring for Kiske was Violetta Kenzovich with 10 points. She had four two-pointers and two for two from the line. Kiske was an impressive 12 for 16 from the line for their total of 57 points. For the homestanding Phillies, Taylor Smith with 15, 13 in the first half, just two in the second half. She was one for two from the line. Kylie Miller with 11, which included three three-pointers and, I'm sorry, two three-pointers and five for six from the foul line. Brooke Kuznar, a deuce and two for two from the line. Mia Fuller with seven, three two-pointers and a foul shot. Amanda Glusico with a deuce and Taylor Eagle off the bench with three points. So the Phillies fall to the Kiske area Cavaliers on the season now. The Kiske area Cavaliers go to four and two overall, and the Phillies fall to 0 and six. That's going to do it here from the Harold Horse Taylor Memorial Gymnasium. Tonight's game was brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and all of our friends at CUTV with Gary Smith and their staff. This has been Gary Frankhauser along with Jerry DuPay, a South Union Township Sports Network presentation, and we'd like to wish everyone happy holidays. 
here from the South Union Township Sports Network. Our final once again, Kiski 57, Laurel Highlands 42. Good night, everyone.